Alrighty guys, we made it to Utah. We are at our Airbnb here in St. George. We're gonna be here for four nights. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of exploring starting tomorrow. As long as the weather holds up, it's supposed to be some snow coming in, so we'll see. But we are excited to be here and excited to show you what we're gonna be up to. Say welcome Hi. to Utah, Arlo. So Lyndon is at the gas station or grocery store grabbing some seltzer and beer while I am making dinner and hanging out with Arlo. I forgot to grab it while I was in the grocery store. But I am making a meatless beefaroni with some beef, pasta, and then we're gonna put some cheese in it and Arlo is my trusty assistant helping me get that prepared for when Lyndon gets back. Good morning, everybody. Lyndon is getting Arlo in his car seat now. We have to go buy some winter jackets and then we will be headed to Zion National Park. So we are at Zion and it is crowded. And by crowded, I mean insanely crowded. All the parking lots are full, so we're gonna drive up the road and do the Mount Caramel Highway, see if it's a little better up there, see what we can do. So the last time we were here in Zion was back in December of 2020, and there was no snow when we came here last, but honestly, it's much more pretty with the snow covering everything. We might not be able to do some of the hikes that we wanted to do, but the views are even more extraordinary with snow. So we're about to drive through the tunnel here at Zion, which we're super excited about. It's always fun going through here. So we will make a video and we'll see you on the other side. All right, we made it out of the tunnel. It's always fun to drive through that. We just passed the hike that we wanted to do. Um, and we just kind of looked at it and it doesn't look like it's, it's not cleared off at all. So, um, we're probably not gonna go up there with Arlo just cause we don't wanna slip and fall off the edge. So we're just gonna keep driving along this road and hopefully get to some good viewpoints. So this is just a really pretty viewpoint right off of the scenic drive. It leads you right down to the water. A beautiful view of some of the scenery and the big cliff sides. So a great little spot to stop. So we definitely suggest coming here in the winter over the summer because you can still do all the hikes if you're able to. And um, it's even more beautiful with all the snow covering everything. So we're just going on a short little walk here. There's a bridge across the street that looks really pretty with the river flowing underneath it. So we're gonna go check that out. Um, Arlo was sleeping, so he woke him up, so we feel bad. So we don't wanna take him on a super long walk. So it'll only take us like five or 10 minutes. gonna be headed out of the park once we get out there we are gonna take the drone up because we saw on the map that you're able to so we're excited about that hopefully get some good footage of the canyon so we'll see you when we get there River Rock Cafe. We came here last time we were in Utah. It was awesome. So we wanted to come back a second time and treat ourselves. So we're going to show you what we got in just a minute. So Lyndon got the tropical wave smoothie. He got a little muffin and I got a oat milk latte with honey cinnamon flavoring because that's what they recommended. So we made it back to the Airbnb. We're just going to hang out get some work done. Maybe watch a little bit of TV and just snuggle with Arlo. All right, you guys, good night. We will see you in the morning. We're gonna be headed to Bryce Canyon. Good morning, guys. So we're here 
at Bryce Canyon. It's a frigid 15 degrees out. We got Arlo all bundled up. We are currently walking the Navajo Loop and then we're probably gonna head to Sunset Point. Um, so we'll show you what it is along the way. So this is the Navajo Loop. It is 1.3 miles. Our main goal is to get to Wall Street, but that's closed off in the winter. So we're going to go by the two bridges and then get to Wall Street from there. Basically, it's a bunch of switchbacks that um, are really tight, so it looks really cool, and a lot of people come here just for photos because it's so cool looking. So we didn't do the whole 1.3 mile loop. It started slipping a little bit, so we don't want to slip with Arlo, of course. So we got down to Wall Street, which was our main goal, so we're glad we got that done. So we're headed back up, and we're going to head to Sunset Point next. So this is Sunset Point, where Sunset usually is the best, the best spot to come to. Obviously we're here in the middle of the day and it is still beautiful. So you can only imagine what it would be like at sunset. So it turns out that the road is closed to keep going through the park. It's kind of a bummer, but uh, so that kind of concludes what we wanted to do here. We did the Navajo loop. We went to sunset point. Um, so I think we're going to head out of the park and head on back. Good morning, everybody. So we're actually headed to Nevada for the next week. So we're gonna postpone this vlog and we'll see you in about seven days back in Utah. Several days later. Good evening, everybody. We have made it back to Utah. We are here in Moab at our Airbnb. We love it here, it's super nice, really excited. So tomorrow, um, we're not really sure what we're gonna do yet. We kind of have options. So we're gonna figure that out tonight and then we'll let you guys know in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So it is about five o'clock here, and we are currently in Canyonlands National Park, waiting for the sunrise to come. We just fed Arlo, got that done, and now we're just kind of waiting for it to get a little bit lighter out. We have a pretty short hike to this beautiful viewpoint that we're excited to show you guys. So we'll see you when we get up there. I know it's kind of hard to see us right now, but we are on the hike up. To Mesa, Arch. to Mesa Arch for sunrise, so we'll see you when we get up there. So Mesa Arch Trail is a 0.7 loop trail, super easy and definitely doable with a little baby. <laughs> I am currently walking to the Green River Overlook, which is at 6,000 feet in elevation. Lyndon is changing Arlo's diaper. I'm gonna see if it's worth it to come out here and then he will come out here with Arlo. So that was really cool. It was pretty easy, it's stroller accessible, and it's probably a couple hundred feet away from the parking lot. So definitely come by here to some really good views. Alrighty, that concludes day one of Canyonlands National Park. We'll definitely be coming back to the park to do a few things, and we may or may not go to Arches National Park for a sunset tonight. Good morning, everybody. So we are here at Arches National Park a little after seven, and we are doing the Delicate Arch Trail, which is obviously the most, most popular one. So we'll see how crowded it is. There's several cars in the parking lot already, but we have about a one and a half mile hike in. So we will see when we get there. So we definitely just made it up like the longest uphill part of the trail. It wasn't too bad, but we made it up. So we're gonna finish up this last leg and we'll see when we get there. So we made it to the top. It is super windy right now. I'm not sure if you can even hear us. Arlo is trying to resist this wind, <laughs> but we're gonna walk down closer to it um, so we can get a better view. It's not 
too, too crowded right now. There's only, there's probably about 10 of us or so. We're happy that we came at this time. It wasn't actually icy because we read some reviews where they said it was some icy parts, but there was no ice when we came up. So if you're coming soon, don't worry about the ice. We are headed back down the trail. We are so glad we did this hike. It was absolutely beautiful. Arlo did wake up at the end, but he's still enjoying his time. We made it back to the car. That was a really fun hike. Good way to start the day off. And now we are headed to the Skyline Arch, which is only a 0.4 mile hike. So not nearly as far. So we'll see you when we get there. All right, so we already made up that 0.2 mile hike. Super easy, accessible for everybody. And the arch is right above us. You can't get up there, but that's okay. It kind of just towers over you, so it's a little different from Delicate Arch. So definitely come check this out. All right, so that was a really quick hike, and now we are headed to our last spot of the day, which is Double Arch, which is also another short hike, only 0.5 miles. So we'll see when we get there. So yeah, this is a really, really short hike, only 0.25 miles in. And this is what you get. It's absolutely gorgeous. Two double arches for just such a short hike. All right, we just finished up the double arch hike. It was really pretty. Definitely a fun one to do if you're ever here. And now we are going to be headed back to the Airbnb to rest and get some work done. So we just stopped at the Moab food truck park, basically just like probably maybe 15 or more food trucks all in a big circle. We're gonna see if there's any food that we can eat, any vegetarian or vegan food, but we're super excited. We saw this place last year and wanted to check it out, but it was closed. So I got the eggplant from John Panini and Linda got the vegan dog our protein smoothie because we did a lot of hiking and made our power. And we are back at Canyon Lands for sunrise and we are so excited. It looks so beautiful right now. We were going to go to Mesa Arch but there was already like 15, 20 cars there. So we came to this other overlook. We're the only one here. It's just as beautiful and we can't wait to show you. guys that was totally worth the extra like five minute drive to get to buck canyon overlook everard here and mesa arch is packed which it usually is definitely come here super easy we're the only ones it is just amazing that we're nobody else has decided to come here Good morning, everybody. Today we are headed out of Utah and headed to Colorado. We will be back into Utah in a little bit, so definitely stay tuned for the next part of our Utah trip. Just made it to Salt Lake City. This is our final stop in Utah. We just have one day here, really, and that's tomorrow. Um, so not a lot of time, uh, but we're gonna be headed to the Salt Flats. So we're excited about that, and we will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody, from the Bonneville Salt Flats. We got here for sunrise. It's absolutely beautiful. We are so impressed. There's water on the salt, so we can't drive out on them, but it makes the reflection incredible. everybody if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time